Introduction We know that animals are heterotrophic and hence they depend on other organisms for their food. Yes, animals need an external source of food. So we can also say that they depend upon ready-made food and this may come either from plants or from other animals. There is a wide variety of animals on the basis of their type of food. Yes, Ankita, many animals eat only plants like grasses, leaves of plants. While some of them eat other animals. The big fish eat small fish, the birds eat worms and insects, snakes eat frogs, some insects eat dead bodies of animals. But when we observe it closely, we find that all the living things on earth actually depend on the sun for their food, directly or indirectly. Plants use the energy of the sun and prepare food by photosynthesis, which is utilized by them to maintain their life. In turn, these plants are also eaten up by herbivores and omnivores as food. And the carnivores eat herbivores as their food. In this way, we see that it is energy from the sun which provides food for plants and animals. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to understand nutrition in animals, Find out types of animals on the basis of food habits. Understand holozoic nutrition. Find out various steps of holozoic nutrition. Understand nutrition in human beings. Find out various organs of digestive system. Understand structure and functions of mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Find out various digestive glands. Understand structure and functions of salivary glands and gastric glands. Understand structure and functions of liver. Understand structure and functions of pancreas and intestinal glands. Study chemistry of digestive glands. Types of animals All the animals can be divided into three groups on the basis of their food habits. Herbivorous, Carnivorous, Omnivorous As we have already discussed that the animals which eat only plants are called herbivorous. They may eat grasses, leaves, grains, fruits, or the bark of trees. Examples Goat, cow, buffalo, sheep, deer, camel, ass, ox, elephant, monkey, squirrel, rabbit, grasshopper, and hippopotamus. Similarly, those animals which eat only other animals as food are called carnivorous. Examples, lion, tiger, frog, vulture, kingfisher, lizard, wolf, snake and hawk. Other than that, those animals which eat both plants and animals are known as omnivorous. Examples, man, dog, crow, sparrow, bear, miner and ant. Holozoic nutrition. Holozoic nutrition. Holo means whole and zoikos means animals. It is a method of nutrition that involves the ingestion of liquid or solid organic material. 
The process of holozoic nutrition involves five steps. Ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ingestion. Ingestion involves intaking of food. It depends on the size of food and structure adopted for ingestion. Ingestion occurs with the help of pseudopodia in amoeba, cilia in paramecium, tentacles in hydra, mouth parts in insects, protrusible tongue in frogs and wall lizards, hands in human. Digestion is the process by which complex, large size, insoluble and non-diffusible polymeric organic compounds are changed into simple, small, soluble and diffusible monomeric compounds. Organic compounds like proteins, fats and complex carbohydrate, amino acids, monosugars and fatty acids, etc. It occurs in the presence of digestive enzymes present in digestive juices secreted by the digestive glands. Absorption in the process by which diffusible nutrients pass through the wall of alimentary canal into blood lymph. Absorption involves both physical processes like diffusion and osmosis and active processes like active transport of glucose, amino acids, etc. Assimilation is an anabolic process by which simple nutrients are metabolized to resynthesize the complex macrobiomolecules like proteins, polysaccharides, fats, etc. It occurs inside the cells. The synthesized macrobiomolecules help in growth and repair of the body tissues. Egestion is the process in which undigested food is removed from the body. The whole food which we eat is not digested by our body. A part of the food which we eat remains undigested which cannot be used by the body. This undigested part of the food is then removed by the body in the form of feces when we go to the toilet. Nutrition in Human Beings In human beings, nutrition takes place through human digestive system. The various organs of the human digestive system are mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, anus. Pharynx Pharynx is a funnel-shaped part where the food and air passage cross each other. It has two apertures. Glottis leads into voice box and windpipe. Gullet leads into esophagus and opens during swallowing of food. Esophagus Esophagus is long, narrow and tubular part of digestive system. It passes through neck and pharynx and opens in stomach. It conducts the food by peristalsis. Stomach Stomach is a thick, muscular and J-shaped sac present on the left side of upper abdomen. Stomach helps in mechanical churning and chemical digestion of food. The food is churned in stomach for about three hours, due to which the food breaks down into smaller pieces and forms a semi-solid paste. The stomach wall contains three tubular glands in its walls, which secrete gastric juices. The gastric juices contain three substances, HCL, enzyme pepsin and mucus. Due to presence of HCL, 
enzyme pepsin is acidic in nature and starts digestion of proteins. The mucus helps to protect the stomach wall from its own secretion of HCl acid. The muscular wall of stomach helps in mixing of food and gastric juices. Small intestine Small intestine is the largest part of alimentary canal. It is about 6.5 meters long in an adult man. It is called small intestine because it is very narrow. Small intestine is divided into duodenum, jejunum, ileum. Small intestine is site of complete digestion of food and also the absorption of food. Large intestine. Large intestine is shorter and wider than small intestine. It is divided into colon and rectum. It helps in formation and temporary storage of feces. The colon is the last part of the digestive system in most vertebrates. It extracts water and salt from solid wastes before they are eliminated from the body. Rectum is the last 6 to 8 inches of the large intestine. The rectum stores solid waste until it leaves the body through the anus. Anus Anus lies at the base of trunk and is for ingestion of waste products of digestive system. The digestive glands. In addition to these organs, there are some digestive glands which secrete digestive enzymes. These are salivary glands, gastric glands, liver, pancreas, intestinal glands. Salivary glands. There are three pairs of salivary glands in human. These secrete saliva which contains a digestive enzyme tylin or salivary amylase. Salivary ducts open in buccal cavity. Gastric glands. Gastric glands are present in the wall of stomach and secrete gastric juices. Liver. Liver is lobulated and reddish brown colored largest gland of body present in the right side of upper part of abdomen which secretes bile juice. Pancreas Pancreas is yellow gland present just behind the stomach which secretes pancreatic juice. Pancreatic duct carries pancreatic juice to small intestine. Intestinal glands Intestinal glands lie in the wall of small intestine and secrete intestinal juice, which is also known as succus entericus. Enzymes working in digestive system of man. Saliva has salivary amylase, which digests starch into sugar. Pepsin in presence of HCl digests protein, which works only in acidic medium. Bile from liver, gallbladder, digests fat and converts it into fatty acids. It changes food to alkaline medium. Amylase digests starch from pancreas. Trypsin digests proteins from pancreas. Lipase breaks down emulsified fats from pancreas. Dental caries. Dental caries or tooth decay causes gradual softening of enamel and dentine. Dental caries starts when bacteria acting on sugars produce acids that softens and demineralizes the enamel. 
masses of bacterial cells together with food particles stick to the teeth to form dental plaque. Saliva cannot reach the tooth surface to neutralize the acid as plaque covers the teeth. Proper brushing the teeth after eating removes the plaque before the bacteria produce acids. If untreated, microorganisms may invade the pulp, causing inflammation and infection. Did you know? In man, vermiform appendix is a vestigial tube at the junction of small intestine and large intestine. Elongation and inflammation of vermiform appendix is called appendicitis. Period of gastric digestion depends upon nature of food. It is 1 to 2 hours for carbohydrates and 5 to 6 hours for fats. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Heterotrophs cannot make their own food and depend on other organisms for their requirement of food. Nutrition involves utilization of food and involves a number of steps like ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. Amoeba is omnivorous and holozoic. In amoeba, food is ingested by circumvallation with the help of pseudopodia. In amoeba, digestion is intracellular and occurs in the food vacuole. Alimentary canal of human being is formed of mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Teeth in man are heterodont. Food moves down the gut by the process of peristalsis. Digestive glands of man include three pairs of salivary glands, gastric glands, liver, pancreas, and intestinal glands. Digestive glands secrete digestive juices which contain digestive enzymes. Digestion of carbohydrates starts in buccal cavity, while that of proteins and fats is started in stomach. Digestion is completed in small intestine. Absorption of food also takes place in small intestine. Dental caries is caused by Streptococcus mutans bacteria, which causes fermentation of sugary diet and produces organic acids.